So today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little frog on a lily pad. For materials you will need a blade, a roller or a pasta machine, a medium circle cutter, um, and then two shades of green, one lighter and one darker. I'm using Granny Smith and Wasabi. Um, a little bit of white and black, and then um, for the flower, I'm using light purple, but you can use pink or any other color you want. Okay, so first you want to take your medium circle cutter and cut a circle out of your Granny Smith clay, or your darker green. And then you want to take your blade, and zoom in a bit, and cut a little incision. And then round off the edges and stuff um, for the lily pad, as you can see I'm doing here. Once it's rounded, you want to take the blunt side of your blade and make a little mark there, just to add detail. make the frog, take a little piece of your wasabi clay or your light green clay and then make a little cone type shape, kind of like a teardrop and then you want to flatten each of the sides. for the head you want it to be not perfect not a perfect circle but a little bit more like an oval shape button it out and then stick it on the body if you want it to be more secure you can also add some TLS, translucent liquid sculpey, and then dab a little bit on the body, and so the head will stick on better. Now to make the eyes, you want to take a little piece of clay. That is probably even too big. Um, and make a tiny little circle. And then take your blade and cut it in half. You can shape these are for the eyes. Um, you can shape it so if it was too like skinny or something um, to make it how you like. And then just stick it on your frog. Um, okay. Then you want to take your white. Match a little piece and stick it on the eye. Do the same thing for the other eye. Try to make them as even as possible. <clears throat> Oops. So just smash it and then stick it on there. Do the same with the white, <laughs> I mean, sorry, black, and um, make it smaller though. And 
just stick it on there. flower. Then you just want to take more little cylinders like that, but you want to flatten them out and stick them on the main piece and curve them to make it look like a flower. Keep doing this until you have a full flower or when you think you should stop. 